everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our Giver Novel Study, which is a cross-curricular literature study for all ages. That being said, there is a disclaimer that if you know nothing about this book, there are some mature topics that are in it, so you may want to look into it a little bit deeper. You know your child best. In this unit study, you will find a lesson plan for six weeks, and it tells you what to do for each of those five days, as well as what chapters to read. Cross-curricular connections for math, writing, social studies, science, art, and music. These are all different ideas that really bring the book to life with different things. My favorite quotes from The Giver. So as you read The Giver, you'll jot down quotes that you find interesting. And then for the first five weeks, there is some form of copy work, vocabulary skills, creative writing projects, comprehension for the chapters that you've read that week, as well as a summary of the chapters that you read that week. And then like I said, for each week, it repeats in a very similar fashion. So here's an example of week three. This week for the vocabulary, they'll actually be looking up the definitions for the words. And then for week six, it is kind of a review week. So things like a word search, a crossword puzzle, designing their own book cover for the book, drawing a picture and describing the setting of the giver, identifying the theme and finding examples from the book to support it, plotting the story and learning more about how the story works as far as rising action and climax and falling action, choosing a character and doing an in-depth character analysis, persuading somebody to either read or not read this book based on your recommendation, watching the movie and then doing a book and movie comparison of the two, figurative language. There are some different figurative language activities here where you're going to write the meaning of the figurative language used in the giver, find some examples of figurative language yourself, and then there is a hands-on activity where I have listed out different types of figurative language and some examples, and you will match the example of the figurative language to the type that it is. So you would read it and then say, oh, that's an idiom, or oh, that's a metaphor. So that is your hands-on figurative language activity for this novel study. And there is also some final project suggestions. There are nine different ones to choose from. And also I've included an answer key anywhere it was applicable. So things like the vocabulary and the comprehension have answer keys. Obviously things like the creative writing do not because those would be subjective.